Hello, World of Tank Blitzers. It's Littlefinger. Happy Friday, November 18th. And yes, time for a store review. And this is going to be a big one. This is the Black Friday store review. Sorry I didn't have a review last weekend. Uh, not a lot changed in the store and real life just got in the way, unfortunately. But we are halfway through the month of Operation Roaring Lion for the Battle Pass for the Churchill W. Tier 6 British heavy tank that um, kind of slow mobility, low damage, fast firing gun. Uh, the good thing is the armor on this is, is pretty troll. These tracks just eat up shots and you don't get damage taken with it. Um, keep in mind that if you buy the license, you can pretty much complete all 60 of these levels in, in just a few days uh, because you're overlapping the, the weekly missions. Um, However, as I pointed out last time, you may not have played enough games to completely fill out your, your gold vaults. But if you do, you're going to get over 3,000 gold, some nice boosters, and 5Xs along the way, which is good for those of you newer to the game that are uh, grinding those tech tree tanks. So we have the event uh, for the Caro 45T. We've seen this before. You're going to buy things in the store and you're going to get coupons, which you then can come on to this page and exchange them out. The Caro is level 43. So the Emil at 750 coupons, the T77, which is next, the heavy auto loader is at 1200 and the Caro is at 1800. So 3750 Tickets, coupons, whatever you want to call them, are. I figure you're going to have to spend about $175, $200 in the store uh, to get that tank early. Keep in mind, very similar event last year, and the tank was in the snow globes at the end of the year. So um, maybe not worry too much about getting the Caro just yet. Uh, there's some other good deals on here. The tank research certificates are good. Free XP is good. Premium time is good as well. So what about the store um, and how do we get these coupons? Well, of course, we go to the store. The first thing we see are containers. I'll just run through what the black box is. You buy the black box. You start out with a black box one. And you have a slight chance, 5% of getting a black box three, and a 20% chance of getting a black box two. And you have a 100% chance of getting either 100, 200, 300, or 400 gold out of this. So you're going to get guaranteed gold out of every crate. You might get an additional crate that increases this amount um, per, per container there. But if you do this, uh, I guarantee that you will not end up with a very good do, uh, gold to dollar ratio when it's all said and done. So try to stay away from those black boxes as you can. So tier seven, Super Hellcat. This is for sale for $10. Most of you probably have seen or have played the Hellcat at tier six, a super fun, fast tank destroyer with very little armor to speak of. Decently accurate gun. This tank does struggle to pen, especially when you're against tier 8 heavy tanks, but it's got wonderful mobility, fully rotational turret. You're going to get those 25 5x boosters for this tank. And look at this, only 50 coupons. So uh, you're going to have to buy a lot of tanks and a lot of gold to get that 3,750. I would rate this as just an okay deal. The deal that I think is the best low dollar deal right now in the store is this one. So let's start off with the gold boosters, 100 of them. I average this out like you're playing tier 10 and you win 50% of your battles. So you're gonna average 15 per, that's 1500 gold. Add that to the 3,000, 4,500 gold when you're all said and done. $5, that works out to be 900 gold per dollar. So. This is, is a, probably the best deal in the store right now for a low dollar amount. You can see the Black Friday resource with only a dollar, only 500. So nowhere near as good a deal there. 
Now let's get into the Black Friday tanks, and there's quite a few of them, starting with the Object 907. This is a really strong tier 10 Soviet medium tank, one of my favorite mediums, to be honest with you. Great hold down tank, good mobility, decent accuracy on the gun, um, and, and, it just, and it just seems to play well, just an all around good tank. And then when you look at the price at 15,000 gold, Pretty standard price for a tier 10. That's not a great deal, um, but considering this is a fairly newer tank, I would say this is pretty good. You're gonna get 250 coupons out of it and all nine equipment slots as well, which adds up to a, quite a bit of silver when it's all said and done if you were having to pay for all nine of those. The other tier 10 French medium, uh, the AMX 30B, Another fun little tank to play, um, does have the big hatch here, it's got a little bit more accuracy on the gun, mobility is about the same, armor's not quite as good. A little bit less on that price, um, and, I, and I think that kind of goes to show you the, the difference in those, those two tanks as far as how well they perform. K91, which is a tier 9 heavy tank. I like this tank at tier nine, especially when it's top tier, three shell auto loader. You can really pump out some damage. It's got a little bit of some troll armor here on the cheeks. And um, like I said, it's top tier is pretty good. And 9,000 gold, my, my hesitation on this is that we've seen this tank around for quite some time. Um, so that the price has varied, and I don't think this is necessarily the best deal that this tank has been for sale for, but still a solid tank at tier nine. The Object 274A, well guys, I cannot give you my opinion because I don't own this tank yet. Um, Soviet tier eight medium tank, so I will be purchasing that for 8,500 gold. It is relatively new, and I think that is a pretty much standard price for a good tier eight tank. And, and I don't know, it may not be as good, um, but it is relatively new. So obviously we pay a little bit higher price. The Skoda T56 falls into the same category. Another tank that I don't currently own. Can't really give you my opinion on it yet. Um, so anyway, two tanks I love to see that I don't have, that, I, that aren't in crates, that I can just buy outright. T55 is a tier nine. Uh, medium tank. Uh, it does pretty well when it's top tier, uh, but keep in mind the the meta of Blitz right now is uh, heavies and tank destroyers. So this tank can be a little bit tough at times, especially as bottom tier. But it's got the mobility. It's got that uh, more of a Soviet gun on it, um, but it plays pretty well hold down as well. So. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, so moving on to the Lanson C. Uh, this is a medium tank that I quite enjoy playing. It's got really good mobility. I think it's 55 kilometers per hour is the top speed. And this gun hits pretty hard with uh, average damage of 320. Um, so that's that's pretty good for a medium tank. Um, and, and, I, and I do enjoy this tank. So for the price there of 8,000, I think this is a nice price for a tier eight medium that you will enjoy playing. The other almost must own tank, I think, is the T54E2. It's a shame it doesn't come with the Shark Legendary Camo because that's pretty neat with that. Uh, but this is a hold down monster. Hatch is a little bit of a weak spot, but uh, you know, if you're if you're hold down, you're you're hiding that, and um, this tank really is one of those go-to tanks, especially if you want ratings uh, battles. You can carry battles in this tank for sure, and for that price of seven thousand five hundred, I think this is one of the better deals. You won't be disappointed in this tank. Moving on to the Kyler here, uh, you can see the price at sixty five hundred. This is a relatively new tank um it's just not my favorite uh too many weak spots on the armor through this front drive wheel um so it's slow gun's not great you know uh but you know if you're a collector price is pretty good for a tier eight heavy tank canonan 
Love this tank, super fast, mobility-wise. Armor profile's decent. Uh, this is one of those tanks that I think works well if you find some good sniping spots early in the game, and then you come in with some good DPM and you've saved all of your hit points and you can just clean up at the end of the game. Had some really clutch battles and fun tank to play. Wanted to just look at the top speed. Yeah, 55 kilometers per hour for a tank destroyer. Uh, you know, that thing will get around. Yeah, it's tough not having a, a, a rotational turret, but um, I think the it's just a fun all-around tank. And talking about complete opposite is the TS-5 here at 5,000 gold. I mean, this thing is kind of bombed, huh? I mean, this tank is not that old either. But you get this thing in the right position, and it's got armor for days on it. Uh, it's can be team dependent uh, just because of its size and lack of mobility. Um, but, you know, get it in the right positions and it works really well. And that's a great price for a tier 8 tank destroyer. If you can stomach super slow tanks. Uh, the patent here, 59 patent. I love to see this price of 4,500. Just shows you how bad this tank is. Uh, I would avoid this tank at all costs. It's just doesn't really do anything well at all. Um, not not a fan of this tank. It's actually one of the few medium tanks that I've still got to ace. I I just it's just tough. It, it really is tough to play. Uh, moving on to tier seven, we've got the M41. Uh, Fun tank. I mean, this is going to have what in the 60 70 kilometers per hour is its top speed, but obviously no armor. It's a tough tier seven to play. Uh, you've got smashers, you've got all of those big derpy guns at tier eight. Uh, and, and your role on the battlefield is to spot, and uh, with such a low damage per shot, it can be a tough one to play. But 3,000 gold, hey, that's a good deal. Uh, AMX 1357 uh, with the six shot auto loader, you know, gets around nicely. Uh, there's a six shots there. What's the speed? 61. So not quite as fast as it's uh, the M41 there, but uh, you buy this one for the auto loader, really, and uh, just have fun clipping people. Um, $2,500. Hey, not bad price for a tier seven. The Type 64, oh man, Tier 6. You want to talk about getting derped in this thing. No armor whatsoever. Um, this is just paper thin armor all the way around. Watch out for smashers, KV2s. Uh, but, you know, again, if you like those light tanks, sporty, uh, can get around, can spot 2,000 gold. Hey, we can't. Can't do much worse than that. So, and then the Padel, uh, I mean, $1,500 for a tier six medium that they gave away for free not too long ago. So keep that in mind. So that closes out those Black Friday deals. And we move on to the offers section. All right, guys, I apologize for those disruptions. Hopefully it's not too bad on the video, but I keep getting distracted and my computer keeps locking up. So anyway, let's move on into the offers section and keep in mind as we go through these, a lot of these do not have those coupons to be used towards the current event. So we've got Elusive Scouts, which is a 11,000 gold bundle with the Lorraine 40T, which is a four shot auto loader, French medium tank. Uh, not much in the way of armor. Uh, you know, you've got good mobility with this tank in a four shot auto loader, so you can work those clips, use your speed to, to get to a safe place for a reload. You've got uh, eight degrees of gun depression, top speed of 60 kilometers per hour. So the, I like this bundle here with the M4A1, which is also a French medium at tier eight. Uh, because there's two different play styles, right? This tank here, this tank actually hits pretty hard. 350 average damage, 10 degrees of gun depression, not a lot of armor. The mobility is okay at 48 kilometers per hour. But again, 
two nice tier eights for 11,000 gold. Uh, I think that is a solid deal, and you don't think you'd be disappointed with those two tanks together. Badger at $35 is a bit extreme. Uh, I find this tank to be a little bit too map uh, team dependent. Uh, slow speeds, traverse, uh, you know, it, it makes it a little bit of a challenge. Um, unparalleled platoon here, not a big fan of the T95 E2. Action X, obviously a tank you want to own, but I would pass on this bundle. Whirly Bird attachments. I mean, how many different attachments are they going to come up with? Let's not even bother there. The uh, 38H. Uh, this one's only intriguing for the sense that for three dollars you're going to get a thousand gold seven days of premium time you're going to get this tank that you can play for a little bit and then once you get tired of it you can turn around and sell it for 750 gold so you know that's almost 1800 gold three dollars that's about 500 gold per dollar there so not a bad little investment if you want to play around at tier three for a little bit and then sell that tank get yourself a garage slot in seven days of premium time Dash for Clash, uh, not a huge fan of this bundle, although the price is pretty good. You've got the T25 Pilot at tier eight medium tank. Uh, I, you know, I've done a review on this tank. I, I don't think it gets quite the amount of respect it has. You've got nice damage per minute. Uh, you've got decent mobility, forward kilometers per hour. Uh, 2,165 is your damage per minute. 225, is pretty average. Uh, numbers across the board but it's just a tank that seems to work pretty well and then the t tier 7 medium t23 e3 another fast firing uh, low damage 160 damage 2600 damage per minute at this tier so this was tanks got the damage per minute it's also got a pretty fast reverse speed it's only got six degrees of gun depression which is kind of strange for an american tank but look at this 56 forward 30 in reverse um but again, you know, price is right for, for those two tanks as well. WZ111, uh, 5,500, good price for a tier eight. However, you probably already have a lot of tanks very similar to this in your garage. So uh, may want to just pass unless you're just a pure tank collector. Caliban crate still around, passing on that, of course. And then I don't, I'm not really going to spend any time on the resources because if you're buying gold, Make sure you're buying it with the coupons. And we'll get to that section here in a second. I just want to make sure we've covered all of these tanks. I think the Action X here by itself, 8,000. Still a little bit high. You might want to wait until the holidays. Maybe you can get it at auction or something for a little bit cheaper. Uh, I think we did cover all of those tanks. So getting to the gold and part with the coupons here, you can see they've added back in all of these 2x bonus deals. So make sure you're buying those 2x bonus. Uh, this is 7,000, 75,000 gold for $100 versus this one sitting here for only 3,700 gold for $100. Um, like I said, probably going to have to spend about 200 bucks to get that 3750 in um in these coupons to be able to get the tier 10 event tank. Um, I do want to talk about the store real quick. I just want to just finish going through here, make sure we're not really missing anything. Uh, you know, just make sure you're getting a good gold per dollar ratio there. Uh, I saw the reactive concealment container. I'm like, why are people spending gold on, um, on camo but uh then i saw this one down here for splinters you might have a lot of splinters from from selling some of the stuff um that one might be worthwhile checking out just because there's not a lot of use for for splinters um and so i wanted to hopefully switch over here to the the store right uh so this is na.wargaming.net forward slash shop forward slash WOTB will get you here and then you can click on any of these links in the upper right hand corner um, and so I did notice a sweet little deal here in the store that's not online if you don't have these three tanks uh, for $12 this really is a good deal it also has 60 event coupons 
but you're getting the AMX CDC, very fast, mobile, not much armor tank, um, very similar to Dracula in play style. You're getting the love of the German tier eight with a very high credit coefficient. Armor's pretty good, not great, but it just has a, a, a gun that sings and you've got a great cut credit coefficient, like I said. And the Super Pershing, which um, I'm not a big fan of the tank as a medium, it's a little bit too slow, but the armor on it is just so troll and it can be very difficult to pen. Uh, so I thought for 12 bucks, that was a, a really good deal. Um, also, what I wanted to show, there's some other tanks in here, uh, T-22s in here, which was kind of interesting to see. We've got the, the Type 57, but what I notice here is no, no coupons for it. $20 for this tank. Uh, you know, I'm not too down on that. I'm, I'm not a big fan of this tank just because the gun accuracy is so horrible. Uh, and I'm, I'm always not a fan of a tank that uh, takes a long time to reload and then when it does, it misses a shot. Um, the T-22 for, for $35. The Object 252 for $17 is a nice deal. Um, and then the, we've seen this deal before with the Skoda T27 and the Camara, uh, but again, no, no coupons for, for the current event. And then we'll just go over to gold and, you know, if you have any of those deals that you want to reuse, they'll be on here as well. So big review, I know, um, but a lot of stuff to buy in the store. And uh, would love to hear what you guys have decided to do. So with that, have a great weekend. Have a great Thanksgiving. I probably will not be able to do a review next week because I am at the beach. Um, but I wish everybody just a wonderful holiday. And of course, stay safe. Get educated, not fingered. A little finger, out. <laughs>